All right, gang, welcome back to Winning Workouts. Brian Henderson, a.k.a. The Fitness King. Today I want to show you one simple exercise. It's called an upright roll. Hit your shoulders, your rhomboids. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways of doing it. I'm going to use dumbbells first, then I'm going to use a briefcase secondly. Do you know why? Honestly, because sometimes people do not have weights in their house. Everybody or anybody can get an old briefcase like this from the Goodwill. Put a couple of heavy books in there, and I'm telling you right now, it will do you wonders. Very simple exercise. We're going to take dumbbells coming up towards the chin. We're going to go all the way down that first set, all right? We're going to do about five reps. You probably do anywhere from, depending on what level of fitness you are, and the weight that you're using, anywhere from 8 to 14 reps, all right? So I'm going to demonstrate here with 10 pounds up to the chin and down. I like to hold it up just for a second to say wakey wakey up, all right? Those muscles, breathe out. You're always breathing out, my friends, at the hardest part of the movement. And down. And down. And down. To the chin, and down. Elbows lead, elbows come up higher, and down. Good. Now, that's with 10 pounds. You're starting out, use five pounds. Again, remember this, it's about quality, not quantity. It's never about competing with somebody else. You do you, allow them to do who they are, right? It's so easy when you're exercising to do something wrong and injure yourself. You don't want to do that. Make sure you warm up too before you start any type of an exercise program. And I hope, hopefully, you're doing these movements after you've been maybe biking or stretching or something. So important, make sure you warm up first. Now, the same movement with the briefcase. You're gonna grab the handles, fingers loosely. You're gonna hold it loosely in there, up to the chin, and down. And down. And down. And down. Hold it, and down. And quite honestly, you put a few books in there. You do that first set, you see what does it feel like. If you need it to be a little bit heavier, add some more books to it. Add an old computer. Old computers are heavy as an example. I have a gateway, an old gateway computer. I don't use it anymore. That bad boy is heavy. You put that bad boy in there, that's like 20 pounds or something, literally. So never have it be an excuse that you don't have weights. My friends, there is always something in the house that you can utilize to help get yourself in better shape. That's my desire for you. I want to see you living long and healthy. I want to see you prospering, okay? The only way to do that is to take care of what God has given to you through exercise. You know, the Bible says body, bodily exercise profit a little, but it does profit, okay? So let's all take care of what God has given to us. So that's an upright row. Now, basic exercise that you can do as well, you take a 10-pound dumbbell. I'm going to show you what it looks like from the side. And all you're doing is like sticking it out and bringing it back. Sticking it out, bringing it back. Stick it straight out, bring it back. Do that for about 12 times. Like you're passing your wife something to eat or something, right? You're sharing your plate with somebody. You're breaking bread. Back and forth. That's just for upper body toning. It hits your arms. It hits everything, right? Your upper body. Little, little work in the pecs too as you're pushing. It's just really for overall fitness. It's a very simple exercise. You don't have the dumbbells, again, you can take your briefcase, hold it off to the side. Same way, my friends, straight out and back. And back, out and back, out and back. All right, gang, I hope you just learned one thing today that it doesn't matter what you're using. The main thing is use whatever you have. There's different things around the house that you can use that will help you get in better shape. And gang, if I can say one thing, if you like to wash your car because you like to keep it clean, start washing your car by hand. You burn a lot of calories and you hit those infamous, infamous tricep muscles every time you wipe that car down, all right? So I would encourage you, wash dishes by hand, wash your car by hand. All those things will be burning calories and they're gonna help lead you into the road of better health. On that note, my gang, I'll see you in the future, if not in the past.